Good morning and welcome to Peace Out, where we are all learning together to peace out, right? And I, I've, I'm i learning it just as, probably not as fast as you are, but I'm learning it along with you. It's been quite the journey, right? Before I get too far in, I put a link to my latest ebook. It's only available on ebook, ebook on my website, which is the link I put up, or on Kindle and on, on Amazon. And it's called The Year Orange Juice Saved My Life. And it's a story about how God just miraculously healed me. There's no other explanation for that. And how God just, I was so, I've mentioned uh, several times how sick I was in 86, 87-ish. And uh, I don't know, I kind of lost time in there, but somewhere around 86, 87. And I was so sick with kind of a mystery disease that nobody ever really figured out. They kind of made some guesses and tried to do a multiple choice diagnosis but the point was by the time they got we finally got somebody to pay attention in the medical field i had actually already started getting better because god just touched me there's just no doubt but i did write that story down over the weekend and and uh, i think it will encourage you if you're holding on for something to just trust god no matter what you're going through grab a scripture meditate it memorize it Think about it all the time. Make it your anchor for your soul, even if it's just temporary. And then you'll need another scripture for whatever you go through next, right? And that's how it goes. We just go through from one thing to another. That's what life is about. But the coolest thing is God goes through it with us, right? We're, we're not just, he didn't just throw us out here like dice and say, I don't know where they're going to land. He actually planned on walking through time with us. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about that because I found, I found myself in my studies this morning in Psalm 66, and it's an interesting psalm. It's, it's not real long, 20 verses, and uh, but it, it had several things. I was just like, wow, this is really what we've talked about on Peace Out, right? It talks about, it just starts out by, by talking about, you know, make a joyful shout to God and praise God, and, and you're going to defeat your enemies and uh, sing to praises to God, come and see the works of the Lord. And then it talks about some different things, like it says uh, he turned the sea into dry ground. Remember, we've talked about that a lot, too. And the fact that Moses came to the Red Sea with Pharaoh crushing him behind. He was in quite the predicament, but he wasn't in the wrong spot. It looked all wrong. It felt all wrong. His emotions were probably all over the place, yet he settled them down and trusted God, just like you and I do every single day because just because things are going badly things aren't going like we planned you know because I, Moses followed God to the edge of the Red Sea he followed God and that's where it got him so just because you're following God doesn't mean you're not gonna have an obstacle but it does mean that he, if you're following him with all your heart when you get to that obstacle he already made a plan he already took his finger and curved, carved the path for them to walk over before he said, let there be light. He said, there's that way. So the Red Sea, he knew all of that. Didn't surprise, God didn't say, a Red Sea, ah, I forgot to plan for that. Pharaoh's army, where'd they come from? No, God already had a plan for his people and he already has a plan for you. That's what we can remind ourselves with about with the psalm then it goes on down and it says you know we've been through the fire we've been refined like silver that's not really pleasant but it's pretty when it's done right he says you we went through the fire we went through the water but you brought us out to the king james says a wealthy place a place of great satisfaction is what i looked up on the strongs uh, just uh, totally satisfied place he brought us out and didn't haven't we read that several times Isaiah 43 talks about when I go through the floods you're with me when I go through the fire you're with me nothing will overcome me because God is with me in those things now but first did not say I'm gonna to come to the fire and not have to go through it because you're gonna snatch me out and put me on the other side Whew, that was close no we don't read that anywhere in the scriptures but we do read over and over how he brought us through he brought his people through the the red sea he brought his people through fire he brought his people through lion's den he brought his people through through cell prison cells he brought them out but they he couldn't bring them out if they weren't in there right so he didn't necessarily make the bad things not happen but he was with his people every single time in every story over and over and he's been with you every single time too yeah, he has. Then it goes on down at in verse 16, and here's what I wanted to, to really talk about, right? And it says, Come and hear, all you who fear God. I will declare what he has done for my soul. 
Think about that a little bit. I will declare what he's done for my soul. It doesn't say what he's done for my bank account, although I think if he filled up my bank account, it would help my soul a whole lot. It didn't say what he's done in my relationships, although that's a good thing, and God does work in our relationships. What he's done for my emotions, what he's done for my... He gave me a house. He gave me a car. All the, fill in the blank with anything you want. But it says what you've done for my soul. And that's the part of us that doesn't die. When this body decays and is long gone, our soul lives on. That's our mind, our will, our emotions. It's what makes us uniquely us. Uniquely you. Uniquely me. That's hard to say, by the way. Right? And so he says, I will declare what God has done for my soul. And that's what I wanted to talk about. We've made a lot of declarations right we talked we we've talked about you know i will sing praise to god i have a whole book of declarations but i actually have it over on the other side of my other chair but you know i pulled them all out of psalms i will sing praises to god i will thank god for all he's done i will bless the lord my soul will bless god right we, we've talked about declaring what i will do but this is a different declaration this says, I will declare what he's done for me. And that was one reason I wrote that book over the weekend. I wanted to declare, God healed me. If I'm depressed, if I'm discouraged, if I'm down in the dumps, if I can't quite see my way out of whatever I'm facing today, I can go back and remind myself, remember that time God healed me? Remember that time I was sick and the well I went to doctor after doctor after doctor. My mama drugged me everywhere and I was a grown woman too. And he, she drugged me everywhere and doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. And then one day I was just better, a little bit better. And the next day I was a little bit better or better. -er. And the next day I was a whole lot better. -er. And eventually I, God just healed me. And it was the point where the, those women down in Lawton, Oklahoma joined in prayer. There's no doubt that's when it happened. Was it that? Because I was, that my mom had planned my funeral. That's what God did for me. He snatched me back from the grave. That's one of the, that's a, a quote out of the, one of the Psalms too. It says, he snatched me from the grave. He said, no, nah, not today. You're not going away yet. You got stuff to do. You got to do peace out. It start in 2020 when the pandemic hits. You got to do peace out so you can encourage others to trust God for peace, to trust God for grace, to trust God, right? Maybe that's the whole reason he snatched me out of there. I don't know, <laughs> right? Who knows? But I can declare what he has done for me. He's healed me. He's carried me by his grace. He gives us strength. God has given me strength. So you want to turn it into a declaration. God has given me strength for the journey. God has given me, has carried me by his grace through whatever the journey looks like. Right? There's no release button. He doesn't go, okay, you're on your own. <laughs> Thank goodness there's no release button. But he's carried me by his grace. He, his, he, God made his nurse mercies new every morning just for me and just for you. So I encourage you today to find some things. Think about some things you know God has done for you and make those your declarations. Because what does it do? It fortifies your spirit man. It fortifies that soul part of you. You say, God healed me. Yeah, as a matter of fact, he did. Wow, God healed me. And it, it can almost be a, almost a shocking thing to, when you look back and start thinking, how did I get through that? God gave me wisdom. He, God showed me which path to take. God showed me which road to take. God showed me which relationships to, to, to nurture and which ones to ignore, which ones to get out of. God showed me which business relationships were profitable, which ones weren't. weren't. He, God gave me wisdom. God has healed me. God has strengthened me for the battle. Uh, David said, and I believe it's, I think it's Psalm 18, he strengthens my hands for the battle. We could also say God has strengthened my heart for the journey. He's given me grace to make it, to keep on. He's given me the grace to keep on trusting him, right? And so make your declaration today. Think back about even just the last couple of years or think back over your whole life and just think about places you've been, things you've come through, and maybe some of them you didn't even know you were how you were going to get out of them. But you look back and know God made a way, just like he made a way across the Red Sea. Because, you know, when those, when those children of Israel were standing at the banks of the Red Sea and Pharaoh was closing in behind, it did not look good. It did not feel good. They couldn't see what God could see. And many times when we're in our situations, we can't see what God can see. But we can trust a God who sees, right? So trust him today. Find some of your declarations of things you know God has helped you 
do, the ways he's touched you or, or changed your life or been active in your life. And then when you start compiling all of that, it'll be a good time to just peace out. Peace out, you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you again in the morning.